Hey guys, and welcome to another GZ Doom Builder tutorial. This episode, we're going to be doing uh, focusing on something requested by someone called um, Arthur Casillas. Um, he asked if I could do a sort of animated title screen um, tutorial, and this is a very very simple process, and will probably be a very short video. But literally, just create a new map. Instead of calling it anything you want this time, call it title map. This is important, otherwise it won't work. And now all you would do is just say good L, create a sector. I'm just going to create a small square. Go to S. I'll make um, basically what you would then do is create another sector that would hold your player character. So just a square that the character will fit into. Just press OK. And now for the camera to be inside this room, obviously we would use a change camera script. So what you do is you'd find where you wanted your camera to be. So let's just say here, face up here, sorry my computer's a bit laggy. I'm running the uh, 2016 Doom in the background, so... <laughs> yeah. I'm lost. Uh, camera's an interpolation. All you do is aim in camera. And hit Q to go into um, 3D mode. I'm going to move the camera up a bit. As am I going to move the roof up as well, quite a bit move this up. I'm just going to change a few textures. This again is just completely up to you if you want to change the textures. I'm going to have mine as an outside map. So I'm literally just going to go control C. Now just paste that for any of you who don't know, um, literally all I did was I click on the wall or hover over the wall I want to copy the texture off of, hit Control C and just press the middle mouse button and that just instantly pastes the texture you want. Uh, for the floor, uh, just go to outdoors and find grass, uh, that will do. And now, I'll just change the pitch to 15. So it's looking down slightly. And now I'll place in something for it to look at. So let's say monsters. Let's go with a cyber demon. Now the reason I put the player outside of the map instead of in the map and use the player as the character, which you can do, is because if I did that and I wanted the cyber demon to move around, I would um he would just kill the player and it wouldn't look as good as it could. Um, you can add other decorations, but this is just going to be simple. Literally, all you would do then is um, open the script editor. Sorry, the script one would be um, on enter, or you could do I think it's open the other one. Yep, but I'll do enter. It doesn't really make much difference. And then. Inside here, you would just do the change camera stripped zero zero one, and of course, don't be a fool like me and forget to do this z common dot acs. There we go. Problem solved, and literally, all I'm just going to quickly change that. Press F9 to test it, and uh, before I um, play the game, like I said I was going to just then, um, if you're going to be doing what I'm doing and having the walls as like outdoor textures, I completely forgot this, but you need to go into the um, properties of it, go down to action, press this little thing here, go to line, and just set it as line horizon, press OK. 
and press C to clear all these selections. And if we hit F9, if this time you will kindly load, there you go. You can see that's our map. It's sort of it's animated in a way. Um, if you knew how to, you could use like actor paths to make the actors walk around. And if you um, use my um, cutscene tutorial, you could just sort of make um, an animated camera sort of go around and just lo keep looping around like that. You could do plenty of stuff with it, but if we just save this now, as title map, it doesn't matter what you save it as, I'll just head to my Brutal Doom. Oh, I just quickly renamed it to GZ Mod so it's right underneath GZ Doom. Just drag it on, run it in either of the Dooms, it doesn't matter, I'll run it in Doom 2. Um, basically, what this will do is it's changed the um, title map of Doom 2. It's changed the title map of Doom 2 to be the title map we created. So it looks like this. It's a really cool effect, and obviously it works in your own maps, don't worry about that. Um, but thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this honestly really helped anyone out there. Peace out.